Hey guys, this is Muhammad Shami and I'm back with another Java tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can populate your JTable from MS Excel database using Java. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So as you know this that this is our database which we had created in the first tutorial of this playlist. Okay, so we have two records in the username and two records in password. Let's add some more records uh, like Harry123 and password would be anything anything. <laughs> okay, so we have another record. Now we will go to our uh, and add beans and let's make another JF form. Go to default package. So it's delete this one. Okay, now create another. So I will name it J table form. Okay, so its name is J table form. So now we have created a form. Let's add a table. I will go to palette, click on table, drag a table here. Okay, you also need a button. So I will go to palette. Where is the button? Here is the button. Next, we name the button uh, J table. Oh, sorry, view records. So it will view the records from our MSX database into this J table. Okay, now let's go to um, table contents, make it user specified, go to columns, name your title. It should be same as your field name in MSX database. So this is ID, this is username, user name, okay, and this is password. So, this is password, okay. So, these are same as my uh, field in uh, database, my table, table two, okay. I don't need this one, so I will remove it, okay. Now, these are string type, so I will make it string type. You can Make it which tag you have, okay. So now rows, I will. Yeah, I need only three rows because I have three. So now we have created this table. Now I will go to my connection to database class and make a table for, for uh, J table public void. It's a void method public void uh, display table records. That's the name of my table, and I will take one parameter of J table type J table, okay, and I will name it table supply. You can name it anything, okay. So now let's go inside and make a try and catch block as we are making it in all the last videos of this playlist, as in, okay. It is easy for helping uh, catching exceptions. If we had one. So, okay. Okay, it will display if there would be any exception. So, what's the error? Oh, make the T small. Okay, so there, now there is no. Now we will make connection. As we had made in all the videos of this playlist, this connection is a built-in class, and I had a method above name as new connection in which I created the connection to my MS Access database. Now we need a statement. Statement is used to access the tables of uh, your database. Statement st equal to con dot create statement function. Create. Uh, I hate it. Okay, so here, now what's the error? So there is a spelling mistake. Make it statement. Okay, now I will write my query in a string variable. Okay, select. 
star from the name of your table i will choose table 2 okay now let's execute it make a result state with type variable uh, result set rs equal to st dot execute query okay so we'll execute the query and now the new thing for populating your j table is i will show you uh, table supply is our parameter here dot we will use set model functions function set model and inside we will call d b util class dot sorry there is an s okay now we will make a user function result set to table model okay and make uh, and inside its brackets we will use rs variable which is result of result set type now we can see an i error here it's saying create a class so for this we have to add a jar folder library so we will download it this is the name of the library rs to xml click jar folder and you can easily download it from the internet i have downloaded it so now i will add it into my libraries click add jar folder here it is i will open it and now it is inside my libraries now there is error click on the error go to first option add import click on the add import import your library now the error is gone so now we will go to our j table form and i will change the name of my the variable name of my table to just table okay so now it's new variable name is table i will go to this button view record and inside its function now i will make an object of our connection to db class connecting c equal to new connecting okay so now here we have created the object now i will call my function display table record and inside it i will write the table name of my table the variable name okay so now let's run it and see is it working or not let first clean and build it and right click and run file so you can see a window here that's your form okay so this is your form now i will click on view records and when i click on this view record button all the records from my table two should appear so i click the view button view record button and you can see here that all the records from my table two of my ms access database are now here so this is a really easy tutorial if you have any queries then comment please like share subscribe and thank you so much take care